Let's go ahead and do some examples with area of a sector, uh, as in the sector of a circle. So if you want to copy this worksheet, if you want to follow along with the video, um, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click the link and open up this worksheet and print it out if you want. So uh, anyway, let's see what's the formula for the area of a sector of a circle. Let's see where that comes from. So remember, for a full circle, let's zoom in a little bit here. For a full circle, uh, so we'll just pretend that's a circle, uh, not really an egg. So for a full circle with radius r, uh, the area is pi r squared, right? So that's for a full circle. What if we just want some sector of a circle? So a sector is made by uh, radius, radius, and then angle theta, okay? So this angle theta here, uh, so for the area of a full circle, you know, we're taking the full circle here, but for a sector of a circle, we're just taking this little sector here made by the angle theta. So what we can do is say, okay, well, a full circle is two pi radians, so the sector of the circle is only a uh, theta radians. So I can take theta divided by two pi, just so I can get uh, this proportion here, and then I can multiply by the area of a full circle. So take the area of a full circle and just get this proportion going on. So I, d I don't want the full circle, I just want some little uh, chunk of it, and the chunk is going to be given by this ratio theta to two pi. So what if theta is 2 pi? Well, if theta is 2 pi, then that's going to be the full circle. And then 2 pi over 2 pi is 1. So this formula just becomes pi r squared, which is what we would expect. And that's what happens you know, here. Uh, but for some other you know, smaller values of theta, theta over 2 pi um, is going to be something else. So that'll give us this. So anyway, the formula is going to be theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. And we can simplify that. So we can draw these parentheses, first of all. Theta over 2 pi times pi r squared. Uh, the pi's cancel, and then we have theta over 2 times r squared, but this formula is more commonly written like this, uh, 1 half r squared theta. So that's the formula for the area of a sector of a circle. And uh, theta must be in radians. So just like with the formula for arc length, uh, theta has to be in radians. Okay, theta must be in radians. Uh, before you can use this formula. So why is that? Well, because here when we set up this uh, proportion here, theta divided by 2 pi, it's 2 pi radians in a full circle. So we're just taking the little chunk of the circle that's made by theta radians. So theta has to be in radians before we can use this formula here. So just watch out for that. Um, so this isn't really a proof of this formula. It's just kind of uh, an intuitive explanation of where it comes from. Uh, but uh, this can be proved, like a real proof, uh, using calculus, and usually it happens in calculus too. So this can be proved using calculus, and it's of course beyond the scope of a trig course because it's a calculus thing, but um, so we can't really go through that here, but it will be in a separate video later on. Um, but anyway, for now, it's just uh, better to understand this formula, how to use it, and that it comes from the fact that if we take a full circle and just take some proportion of that given by theta radians, uh, then simplify this, and that's where this formula comes from. And just remember that theta must be in radians. Okay. So let's see a couple examples using this formula. So example one, a circle has a radius 16 meters. Find the exact area of the sector made by an angle of 130 degrees. So start by writing the formula, a equals 1 half r squared theta. And then we'll say a equals r equals theta equals. So a circle has radius 16 meters. So we're just given that directly. r is 16 meters. Okay, that's great. Uh, find the exact area of the sector made by an angle of 130 degrees. So we're told that theta is 130 degrees, and we're looking for the area A. Okay. So 130 degrees. Now be careful, we can't just toss these directly into the formula, right? Because remember, theta uh, has to be in radians before we can use that formula. So all we have to do is just convert this to radians. And remember, to do that, we multiply degrees by pi over 180 degrees. So this is going to simplify to 13 pi over 18. And uh, unfortunately, it cannot be simplified anymore, but that's okay. It's not really too bad. So now we know r, we know theta in radians. Now we can use the formula. So a equals 1 half r squared theta, which is going to be 1 half times 16 squared times 13 pi over 18. Okay. So this is 1 half. So there's a lot of different ways to go about uh, simplifying this because we're just multiplying some numbers here, so we can do it in whatever order. Uh, but just be careful, we're looking for the exact area. So that means leave pi here, leave everything in terms of pi. Uh, do not approximate with a decimal. Because okay, pi cannot be exactly expressed as a decimal. It can only be approximated, but since we want the exact area, we have to leave pi here. 
Okay, so no decimals. Um, so 16 squared is 256, and we solve 13 pi over 18. Okay, so we could simplify quite a bit here, but when you do, uh, you can use a calculator to simplify these other numbers here, but make sure to leave pi in the end. Um, if you're allowed to use a calculator, of course you can, but uh, some of the more strict instructors might not allow that. But anyway, uh, when you simplify this, you'll end up with 832 pi over 9. Okay? But we have to be careful about units, so what are the units? Well, r has units meters, so the area is going to have units meter squared. So then the area is a equals... Uh, 832 pi over 9 meters squared. So kind of a goofy number, right? But again, we are asked to find the exact area, so make sure we leave it exact. Okay, 832 pi over 9 meters squared. That's it for example 1. So fairly straightforward, just uh, directly using the formula here. Um, and the only thing is we have to remember to convert theta to radians. Okay, so example 2, find the central angle that sweeps out an area of 21 meters squared in a circle of radius 8 meters. So first we write the formula. And then A equals R equals theta equals. Okay, find the central angle. So we're looking for theta. Okay, so find the central angle means we're looking for theta. Uh, that sweeps out an area of 21 meters squared. So we're told that A is 21 meters squared. Uh, in a circle of radius 8 meters. So R is 8 meters. Okay. So this one won't be too bad, and we're just solving, uh, we have to solve this equation for theta. So there are two ways to go about it. What we could do is um, plug these numbers in first, and then solve for theta, or we could solve this equation for theta. So if we start with a equals 1 half r squared theta, uh, multiply both sides by 2, so then you get 2a equals r squared theta, because the 1 half and the 2 cancel, and then divide both sides by r squared, so then 2a over r squared equals theta. So if you're not okay with that, um, then you could just plug in the numbers first and solve. Uh, either way is fine. So uh, let's go ahead and see what this is going to be. So theta equals 2a over r squared. a is 21 meters squared, so 2a is 2 times 21. r is uh, 8 meters. Okay? So r squared is going to be uh, 8 squared. So what we have is 2 times 21, which is 42. 8 squared is 64, and then that's going to simplify to uh, 21 over 32. Okay. All right, and again, you could have just plugged in uh, 21 into here and uh, 8 into here and then simplify like that. Either way is totally fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's up to you. So theta equals 21 over 32. And what are the units? Well, the area is meters squared, r is meters, so they are compatible, so that's okay. Uh, nothing to worry about there. Um, and theta is going to be guaranteed to be in radians, right? So remember, to use this formula, theta must be in radians. So if we're looking for theta, as long as the units for A and R are compatible, meaning like meter squared and meters, then everything's okay, uh, then theta is guaranteed to be in radians. So this is our answer right here. Okay. Um, and if you are so inclined, you could express this as a decimal, because it will be an exact answer. It'll be 0 0.65625. Right? And if you want, you know, you could say uh, 21 over 32 rad, or you could just write out the word radian. But for radian measure, you just can uh, have no units, and it'll be uh, implied that that's radians. So I also want to point out that uh, it says find the central angle that sweeps out an area, blah, 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 blah. So it doesn't specify to look for or what units we should use. So if you want, you could answer this with degrees instead of radians. But there's really no point in doing that, because um, it's just best to keep it simple and just leave everything in terms of radians. So this didn't specify find the radian measure. Okay, it just said find the central angle. But again, it's best to keep it in terms of radians, uh, unless otherwise specified. So that's two examples of uh, finding the area of a sector of a circle.